Okay, we got court five. We've got Jaime Onsens, Lance Cowart for the OKC Punishers. Then we got Rich Lively and Paul Olin for the Boca Raton Picklers. So what's a little interesting about this one, Jaime Onsens is like a Davis Cup champion for in Brazil. Lance Cowart works for the USAPA. Paul Olin was one of the best singles champions tour players in the world. And Rich Lively, if you don't know the guy, he actually hits the hardest ball I've ever seen somebody hit. So we're gonna see how that works. I played against Rich Lively in the last tournament. And uh, myself and my partner won. Because he, we went kind of at his partner and um, Rich made a ton of mistakes trying to just get back in the game. So it worked out well for us. So Paul's a, just a smart player. He's going to take his shots. Lively's just going to try to rip every chance he gets. Okay, 1-3-1. One, one. So earlier in the day, Jaime Onsens and our GM Mark Milner beat Rick Witkin and Tao Tongvo. That was a big win for the OKC Punishers. <laughs> yeah, we had a chance earlier in the day to go into a Dream Breaker playoff and we missed by two points. Okay, Paul Owen serving. Little, uh, we're in a dink battle. Olsen like to, likes to play the soft game. He doesn't attack until it's up there, it's ready. Okay, we split the gap right there, split the gap. Lance put it right down the gap. That was nice. Okay, we're three, one, two. Look at Lively ripping that serve. And that almost looked out. Oh, we got a net, a net roller. And Paul gives the old, I'm sorry, paddle up. Which nobody means that. Look at how hard that guy rips that ball, Lively. Ooh, we had a nice, I mean, a nice body attack. The ball was up, you know, it was attackable. Uh, Rich was, he was ready for it. Okay, Paul got a little aggressive there, went out the back. I know Rich started off in the a lower tier and worked his way up to the upper tier. Look at this defense. Oh, jeez. So this is, I mean, this is, this is champion tour pickleball right here. Look at how fast these guys can hit that ball. I put them up against any young pro, right? I got Michael Chan, one of the owners, next to me here. He agrees. That's a good play right there. He's waiting on that ball to come up off of that dink. It got a little high, and then he pulled the trigger. Onsen's probably about 6'4", 6'5", so he's got a long reach. Oh, we're in the cat and mouse. How is that not a fault? That's a fault. Okay. Yes, okay. So she caught it. It took her a sec. The ref, it took the ref a sec, uh, but she caught it. Yeah. And Lively knew he hit it. He, he would have said something anyway. Three, five, two. Okay. Oh, that was in. That touched. We're in the cat and mouse here. Lance is just waiting, just trying to keep it in play. Waiting on Jaime to get in the game. It just didn't happen on that one. 
Five four one, I believe I heard. Five three one, Michael Chen says. Ooh. I mean, just a good attack, you know, what do you do? You got to try to get them, but it's not always going to work out in your favor. 6-3-1. So Jaime's stacking. That dude can rip, man. But look at how good the defense is. Man, these are some skinny dinks. Oh, Paul. I thought he was a pretty conservative player, but maybe not. That was pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. He thought he found a hole, and he probably did, but he just overhit it. So we got to, it's hard to unwind the stack on such a hard serve. It's pretty dangerous. Wow. Okay, we got Lively. He's, he's grunts like Witzkin. He grunts like Witzkin. Okay, that one OKC Punisher's way. Three, six, one. Oh, wow, look at those hands right there. So we had a little, kind of a shake and bake there. Onsen had great hands. Um, he made the shot, lively hit it out the back. This is gonna be a battle. Wow, man, look at that, look at that. Everybody's so good at this level. It's fun to watch. Oh, that, that that ball actually looked out to me, but it was so close that, you know, we're we're going to give that half inch. We aren't going to call that out. I think it's 6-6-1. Onsens likes to drop. Okay. I mean, that our guy's an R6-5 guy, 6-6 six, six maybe, with a huge long reach. Uh, those people are hard to drop on. If you get it, it's a great drop. So that was a, oh, that's a ball's out. That ball's out. So it kind of hit hit the net, tipped off the net. He tried to do it around the post. He just couldn't, couldn't bring it around. So we don't see Paul getting too many balls. I mean, they're respecting Paul. They know Rich is the newer player in the top level. So maybe they're going after him right now. Maybe that's the game plan. It certainly looks like it right now. And look at that ball. Look at how hard that ball smacked. Check that ball for cracks. Hey, check the ball. I've been broken. Right. That's a rich, lively cracker. So we'll see. We got, um, yeah, we got Boca on the baseline. They just couldn't get up. Okay, C. Keeping him pinned back. That's great play. 6-8-2. Paul. A nice drive. Man, good defense. He's playing defense. That one's up. I'm going to see what... Oh! Onsen's Davis Cup player for Brazil. Puts it away. Olin couldn't handle it. 8-6-1. Onsen's... Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so Onsen's plays soft, takes his own shake and bake. Well, takes his own bake, how about that? But Lively was there to handle it. 8-6-2. Uh, pretty aggressive play by Paul, but if you give somebody a singles player that right side, like, soft dink, they're going to rip it out your body and see if you can handle it. They're going to wait for the, the ball to bounce up so they can put it away. Um... Lance couldn't get out of the way. It's a side out. Oh, he thought it was going out. That's not a bad, not a bad call. You got to try that. Um, it just landed in. Point for Boca. Seven eight. Man, it's such an aggressive serve, an aggressive third. It doesn't work out in Boca's favor there. Uh, 
Pretty good dinking by the big guy, Rich Lively, over there. Oh, that's not going to end well. He found the opening. He was trying to backdoor Onsen's, <laughs> but it went wide out the back. So Paul only got a little too aggressive there. How's the audio, guys? Anybody see the audio? Is it any good? Oh, he found middle. He found middle. Paul had it just up slightly. Onsen took advantage of it. We got the point, and we got a timeout here from the Boca for Tom Picklers against the OKC Punishers, Jaime Onsens, Lance Coward, Rich Lively, and Paul Olin. Okay, if anybody can tell me if the audio is any good, I'd appreciate it. I do have my microphone on here. It should be picking up the play, but not all the outside noise. So far, uh, okay, see, we lost the first match, barely. Uh, let's see. Okay, good to go by John Rashia. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Audio, that is. Got you. Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Uh, we got to one timeout remaining? Oh, okay, yeah. So Boca called a timeout. We're only allowed one timeout per side to keep the games going quicker. Makes sense. We're on a timeline here. Okay, just tried a little skip hop there. Just couldn't couldn't pick it up. A nice. Sometimes those soft shots really work out. But nine seven two. Whoa! What a great little reset there. So now we're in a dink battle. Let's see who pulls the trigger first. I'm guessing it's going to be Rich. Oh, Paul pulls the trigger. Nice. That was a good one to pull the trigger on. Uh, Rich stayed in that dink. That was a good battle. Okay, so he returned to the stacker that was moving. Obviously, that's a smart play. Oh, so Rich kind of caught him in a backhand. Kind of a very smart play. Caught him moving over in a backhand bias, and it just... It's kind of a move I use every once in a while, and it it just popped out the side. Oh, Jamie gets his giant wingspan in there, smacks that down the middle, and we're on second serve. We are at 8-9-2. Rich Lively with the lively live serve. Whoa, that was pretty risky. And Rich lets him know that you should not go there. That guy's dynamic player, very aggressive. Fun to watch. Oh man, yes. This is what we get at NPL Pickleball. We get lively live. Okay, 10 9 2. The script has flipped. We got to break this point here. Oh, a gap down the middle. We found a gap. So Olin dropped in front of himself, which means Lively has to come up a little short, uh, a little slower to cover that gap. Uh, Larry or Lance saw it and hit the gap. Oh man, we are tied at 10-10, folks, and we only play win by one here. We got 10-10-1. No, that's out. Oh, my God. I saw it out. I saw that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. We saw it out, but he played it. And he should ask the ref. Can you ask the ref? Not after you play it. Not after you play it? Okay. So that could be. But if you don't see it, you know. Oh, my gosh. Look at this defense. Get up, coward. Wow. So that's great defense. But if you don't see it out, you don't call it out. We're. We play it gentlemanly in the National Pickball League. Man, we're in it. All they have to do is win by one. Boca. Oh, okay, second serve. This is a nail biter. We've got number 14, Paul Olin serving, 10 10 2. Oh, wow. 
Oh, the defense is amazing. Oh. Okay, so I don't know about. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, so Oklahoma City lost the first one. Uh, great job to Boca Raton Picklers. Yes, I definitely thought, I mean, I'm right on the line. That ball was definitely out. If we had line judge, you know, I don't agree with line judges because they, a lot of times, it, they just don't see it as fast as the players can see it. So, and then the other one, we had lay, the last one. You know, Onsen's played the ball. He should have played the ball. Lance, could have. he must have saw it in because he called it in. But that's kind of Lance's job to see if that one was out, the one that Jaime played. Uh, the last one, Jaime or Lance saw it out and called out, but Jaime saw it in. So if there's a discrepancy, the ball's always in. So just good gentlemanly play. But you tell me. I mean, you can see my video. You guys tell me. You can slow that ball down, and you can tell me if that ball was in or out. Because to me and... Michael Chan, the ball looked out. Let's go, guys. Come on. Great first game, guys. But great job to Boca Raton great on the first game. game. Boca Raton Picklers for the first game. So now we're in game number two. Best Let's two out of three. Boca. Okay, game two, zero, zero, two. Oh. Okay, so we got a missed third by Paul Owen. Side out. Oh, Jaime likes to play soft, even though I'm sure he can rip that ball. He likes to play soft. He likes to do his resets, and he likes to play at the net. And that definitely worked out there. Um, I... I'll tell you in a second. So we're in a good little dink battle. He went behind Jaime. Jaime's got a good... Okay, he attacked that one. So if Jaime gets a forehand, this is what I learned this morning when I warmed up with him. If he gets kind of a soft forehand, he's going to rip it at your chest. And you can't let it go because it's going in. There we go. Lance crash in middle. So we, we had a great drop by Jaime Onsen's. Lance Cower crashed middle and got the drop and bake. I don't know what that's called. Who knows? But he baked it. Jaime's got a great cross-court dink. Very comfortable in it. Yep. Okay, so Rich got it off the thumb. He was there. He was ready to protect that ATP. Uh, Paul pushed it out a little wide. Jaime was there. Rich was there, but hit it off his thumb. It was, it was very difficult to defend, actually. Okay, so any more, I mean, Lance likes to do a third shot drive and go into the fish shot drop, which happened there. Lively just couldn't handle. It was up a little bit. He tried to attack it. It didn't work. <laughs> so Lively let his liveliness out and just ripped a couple of shots with some extra grunts. And Jaime was there just watching it happen. Nothing he can do. That ball's cruising. Yeah, the way to beat Lively, of course, is probably the dink, but... Oh! So Unson saw his chance there. He took middle. He saw a ball, a dink sitting up a little bit. Tried to attack Olin in the chest, but Olin was there. He was ready. Point for Boca. There we get to see the Onsen's overhead, the Onsen's backhand. That's, empower, that's a powerful backhand. You don't see that too often, but that was nice. So we're at 3-5-2. Olin doesn't have a big serve. Oh, but it's good enough. That ball went out the back. That's a point. Okay, we're at 1-5-2. Did I hear that right? I don't know, okay. I did. One, I got Michael Chan.
confirming the score. Oh, the net dribbler only gets in there, doesn't get it. And then a little banter at the net. Always fun. Everybody's friends here. That's what makes it special, extra special. Just a good, decent drop. Nothing fancy on his drop, but he's just so consistent on it. And he trusts his resets so much and his partner's resets that it gives them the ability to hit that drop consistently. Okay, so Lance had a good drop trying to bust that stack there. Trying to drop behind Lively. Uh, but Lively takes two steps and he's already there. Okay, we got 1-5-1 in the second game. So that's the typical... Wow. Oh, look at that defense, guys. So the typical stack return is the return in front of you to give you enough time to come across. Um, and just once Jaime holds a backhand bias on his... Um, on his defense, he's hard to get it by. Great drop by Lively. Wow, look at that defense. Lively had that. He thought that's never coming back. So he hit it, Jaime made the defense, but it still went in Boca's favor. If I saw it right. Sometimes I don't remember what happened. I'm just watching. 2-5-2. Two, Short return, see what happens. No, he just goes with a soft third. We're in the dink battle. Ah, oh, you know, a little change of direction every now and again. Cowart tried to maybe go a little soft or wasn't expecting it to go to the forehand and just missed. Okay, we're at 3-5-2. Oh, man, that's not going to, that's not going to work. So we had Onsen's crash in the net. Um, Lively thought he had a pretty good drop, but Ons has just got that albatross wingspan out there and smashed it through Olin. A nice soft, yeah, a good soft drop, but Paul's got a good enough roll from below the net to just make and hit it at Lance's feet, Cowart's feet. So that's a different, oh, okay, okay. That's very nice, Rich. Good job. So Onsen's, he doesn't call. I mean, think about what he did before. He was calling in balls or out balls in. So he really saw it in there. Lively agreed. And that's just good gentlemanly play. So Lively overturned his own out ball call into an in. So that's, I love that. I do love that. Okay, we got Lively, 0, zero 2 returning. That caught, that did catch. So we're in the, we're in the cat and mouse here. I'm just watching the show. Wow, a lob from Lively. What a great lob. We got a reset by Cowart. We, Oh my gosh, a superb defense by Onsen's. He saw that shot going down the line. Lively tried it again, hit it out the back. I mean, what do you gotta do? You gotta be pretty awesome to beat everybody in this match. No, no, you're going good. It, it won't catch it, it won't catch it. Yeah. Good defense. Oh, that popped up. I was just trying to hear what you said. We're saying just in general. What? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, probably. So we're still worried about my knee. It was feeling good, but um, there's no way I can play tomorrow. Okay, we have good defense. So not, right now it's locked up like it popped earlier. I think it's when I, when I was standing up and walking the whole time after it popped, it felt great. Maybe I shouldn't have sat, but I think it's gonna go in and out. 
I probably need it. I'll, I'll use it. So we're going to put some CBD cream on my knee. But I've been, I've been sitting with my knee bent. That was probably a mistake. <laughs> okay, we're at 5A2. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe just keep it casual. I had it up here like that. That probably wasn't good. Yeah, I was walking on court six earlier because my wife was watching me with the gate pattern. She was diagnosing me from the NPL live stream. That was fun. Okay, back to the game. Oh, we're in a cat and mouse. Paul thought he saw an attack ball, something that he could attack. It just wasn't quite there, maybe a little below the net. Uh, you know, sometimes the easiest resets just one to the feet. I mean, the easiest shots where you hit it to the feet are the hardest ones to get. Just like happened there. Okay, just a nice little attack. Attack to the chest of Paul Olin. He's a little frustrated. He's calling a timeout. So we got a timeout for Boker Tom Picklers. Uh, let me see if I can go see the score. Maybe I'll go walk. It was probably a bad idea for me to sit, but actually, I mean, my knee feels pretty good. So we got the score of 8-5 Onsen, Onsen Cowart. Thank you, bud. Oh. So we're at the National Pickleball League. We are in Overland Park, Kansas. This is our second event of the season. Second out of six. Oh my gosh. Connie over there. Connie Burnett and Tian playing are playing like masters, and he hits it out. I don't know if you saw that over there, but that was an amazing point. Okay, back to the game. Okay, I like that. You know, Onsen's going to, once he gets that middle ball, he's going to attack. He's attacking Paul. It's working out so far. So Lively's got to get that down. This one's going to get ripped. Yeah, if you don't give... A shot. I mean, when Lively gets the ball, he can rip. He's ripping it. But if he has to come up from down below, then he's just going to put some spin on it. It's gettable. Yeah. Great defense by Lance there. Onsen's came around. Onsen's is getting himself in this game. He's being a presence right here. I think it's 5 8 2. Oh, so I mean, Lance was a little surprised by that because Paul came crashing in and actually attacked chest high. So that was it's that was kind of unexpected. Onsen's puts his wingspan into play, and rips that down the middle, and there's nobody home. Wow. I don't know if you saw that shot from Connie over there. It was pretty awesome. Yep. Okay. It lively gets one up. That ball's getting smoked. You can see the smoke coming off it. 10-7-2. Oh, yep. A good drop. I think Olin hit it off the net, and Coward just couldn't get it. That's a tough shot. I don't care who you are. Seven, ten, no, I don't know the score actually. So that's pretty aggressive by Cowart. Um, it just didn't pay off. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's eight, ten, one. OKC needs to take this game into the third. 
Man, there we go. Lively's getting fired up. You don't, you don't want to fire it up Lively. He's crazy. Okay, 9-10-1. This game's getting close. Oh, yeah. That ball's not coming back. So, Olsen's crawls in there, uses his albatross wingspan, and just rips it down the middle. He's done that a few times. So, you might have to drop behind him, just like Paul Olin just did. Oh, I thought he was going to smoke that. He didn't. So, interesting. So, so, Lance's job is just to keep it in play, wait on Onsen's to get a shot. So they're trying to keep Onsen's honest right here by going behind him. So we're just playing the cat and mouse game here. Nobody wants to make an error. So we're just in a cross court battle. That one's not coming back. That one is not coming back. That's a perfect play. Cower just stayed in that dink, stayed in the dink, stayed in the dink. Lively finally popped one up. And Onsen took over. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That time Lively jumped in there. Hit a shot. Okay, trying to beat the stack. Olin, oh! Olin covered it. Coward hits the winner down the line. Nobody home. Nobody's getting that one. What a great finish. So now we're in a game three. We're in a game three. So I'm going to leave this here, microphone here. I'm going to go use the facilities. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back midpoint. And out ball. Was that the first point? No? Okay. Oh, 3 0. Wow, I missed a bunch. Okay, 3 0 2 is looking good for OKC Punishers. Okay, when uh, out serve, I mean, that's unlucky, but um, a good start. 
to the game. Okay, 0 3 1. Hits lively, hits his lively serve. All in with a good third shot drop. He attacks Lance, middle. Wow, okay. Just good attack. He took his risk. Uh, Lance couldn't get anything on it. I should say coward, sorry. He had a little spin on that ball. Oh my gosh. The hands of Onsen is amazing. I warmed up with Onsen's today and just trying to beat him on some of my best shots was very, very difficult if I beat him at all. I don't know. Man, look at that defense. Look at that. Look at him getting low. Look at that. That's NPL pickleball, baby. Oh, no. Ball's going out, but sometimes your brain, your hand speed, your reflexes take over from what your brain says. Your brain says out, your reflexes don't care. They're going to hit the ball. Coward returning. So that's the typical stack return, hitting in front of yourself, give yourself time. Oh man, that is just funny. So Lively was using his length just to take the ball out of the air and just playing just like pretty smart pickleball there, but just missed the last one. Lance stuck with it or Coward stuck with it, did a great job. That thing is blasted out the back. Maybe I see a little frustration out of Lively over there. 4-2-1. Onsen's with one of his patented high drops. Wow, oh my gosh. Did you see Cowart grab that one from Lively? Lively smoked it. Cowart reset it. Olin put it down the middle. A great shot, and Onsen's got it. Really good return, a soft. Man, look at that. Oh my gosh, holy smokes. Did you see that? That is high level pickleball. That's the National Pickleball League right there. He goes, crosses over, gets the little one that flopped over the net, hits a great shot, and sets up for basically, is that a reverse Ernie? Can we call that a reverse Ernie? He was already outside the court and hit the ball from inside the court. What a great shot. That's high-level pickleball. That's the National Pickleball League, folks. That is the champion tour of the National Pickleball League. So we're gonna see what happens, man. This is this is a nail biter, so OKC has the advantage right now. But I'm sure Paul Olin has something to say about it. We will see. Okay. So Coward has missed a couple of those forehand rolls coming from Olin, putting it on his forehand. So actually, I think that's a great shot coming from this side, going to the forehand. Coming from the other side, it's horrible, but this side, it's great. So the drop is a little high. Olin goes down the middle. Whoa, he gets a little sass. Flight path pickleball. Says something, I couldn't hear it, but... He got a little sassy. I don't know what it, I don't know what he said. I'm sure it wasn't. Paul, Olin is actually a jokester. I hear uh, he seems so serious, but you just hear a bunch of dry humor coming out of his mouth when he's at these events. Okay, so we're in the we're in the cat and mouse. Lance is just going to keep it in play until Onsen gets involved. He knows his role. Lively goes behind Onsen's. And we're back to the original cat and mouse. The cross court between Lively and Cowart. Oh, so Lively took a risk to try to keep Onsen's um, home. That's what we call it. Keep him home. Keep him busy. But um, Onsen's got this 6'5 frame, squatted down, and hit a backhand flick. And it hit, hit off the tape and got the winner. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, we're in the cat and mouse. Paul Owens just trying to find, you know, keeping in play, front, trying to let them make a mistake. And Yeah, only made the mistake there. Okay, I think he saw something. It just didn't materialize. Just didn't happen. I think it's 7-3-1. Oh, that ain't coming back. So Olin saw his chance to Ernie and just got it. That was a great shot. So some of these drops are a little high from Onsen's, but his defense is so good. But Lively's rip. That ain't coming back, folks. That ball's got some smoke on it. You don't want to pop it up to Lively. That is for sure. Brad agrees. Our photographer agrees. Brad Evanson. I like the cleaner first. Okay, I think we're back in the cat and mouse. We'll see who sees an advantage. Oh, so Paul saw it again. He wanted to attack Coert. It just keeps hitting the top of the tape and coming back at him. Denied. 272. Wow, that was, I'm not sure about that one. I think maybe Coward felt that he was off balance and it just didn't quite work out for the punishers there. Yeah, that ain't coming back. So Onsen's had a nice little flick um, to Olin's backhand. Olin popped it up just enough for Onsen's to rip it. Just great drops by Onsen's. I mean, they're nothing special, right? Nothing special. Wow, Lively had some spin on that. That was crazy. He caught the line. It didn't phase Onsen's. Onsen's puts it back to Lively. Lively makes the error. But I'm sure in Lively's normal game, he's not used to that coming back. But you are playing Jaime Onsen's and Lance Cowart of the Oklahoma City Punishers. So they're all coming back. Come on. I'm a little biased. So Paul giving Lively some great advice. Paul's the, uh, I would just say, more experience in the pro level than Rich Lively. So, you know, we all take advice from our seniors, let's say. Not senior age-wise, but senior in experience. Okay, so we can ask we can ask the ref where we are, which was good for Paul to pick that up. Wow! So you know, one of great one of Coward's great shots, as I know, is his backhand like backhand dipper. He doesn't hit it hard, but he hits like a huge top spin on it, and it's difficult to get. Got Jamie Onsen's. I have yet to see. Oh, we got a little lively there. Well, I think we got a little lively hit there. It just bounced up. Lance just smoked it. So we're on 10. We're on match point. We're on match point, and that's it, folks. So great job to the Boca Raton Picklers. But the OKC Punishers today were just a better team, a better match. Jaime Onsen's a monster. I'm glad I have him on my team. Cowart was just, did his job. He knew his role. He played his role to perfection. He kept that ball in play. And then just watching Lively is just fun. He's just a monster, a scary monster. But he needs probably, you know, eventually fill some holes in his game. And he knows that. And he's, I'm sure he's working on it. Okay, thanks for watching. This was the Tier 1 play a uh, gender match today so that was it so if you can hit that like button hit subscribe leave a comment if you want tell me how i did on my commentary i'm working on it um i try to do the play-by-play -play as my announcing style instead of just being quiet the whole time and letting people play i don't know if you like that or not just let me know all right see ya thanks bye